when I bought my property here, there was hardly a grape planted. And now you can look out from where we are now and you can see you know, grapes in a number of locations. All producers like ourselves are incrementally growing each year. We're putting more grapes in each year to meet the demand that we have for our wine. A lot of our equipment is state of the art. We've invested heavily in European technology for the vineyard and our plank machine was the third set of plank equipment to come into Australia. This equipment helps us prune the vines, it, it helps us hedge, it helps us uh, leaf pluck so we can uh, control how much plucking of the leaf we take on the left or right side of the vine at summertime so that we let the air and the sunlight into the bunches of grapes or we might restrict the amount of leaf so that we restrict the amount of sunlight onto it. Um, we have uh, a harvester that's attached to this machine as well and that is uh, an unbelievably premium machine and, and the machine itself has a destemmer. So when you're taking the grapes to the winery, all you have are the berries. Our neighbour is the University of Tasmania and they built um, an earth station here and um, they're constantly looking at the radio waves from outer space and we contacted them and said look can you um, uh, provide us some uh, radio waves from distinctive constellations and so we decided to name our wines after distinctive constellations for example Crux um, for our sparkling wine is the Southern Cross. It's a very private property and a private estate here and, and we do share it with, uh, with, with visitors to Tasmania and they're just overwhelmed because they, they're on the property, they walk through the vineyard, um, they walk down to the beach, they pick oysters off the beach, go back to the cottages and, and chuck them and they're only two traffic lights from the city. 